Okay, now that I have turned on FIFO, I have I wanted to show you just what happens uh, when you do inventory valuations now that FIFO is turned on. Okay, just to show that it's working correctly. So the first thing I'm going to do is run the uh, report for inventory valuation detail. And I have this test FIFO item in here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and purchase on three different occasions this test FIFO item. So we're just going to purchase it from one of our standard vendors here. And we are going to do AA test FIFO. And the first one costs $10. And I'm going to date it on November 1st. OK. And just to quickly speed this along, I'm going to go in and duplicate this check. And I'm going to date it on the 10th, test FIFO. And this one I'm going to value at $15. And I'm going to duplicate this again. OK, and I'm going to do it on the 21st. And this one's going to be $20. OK, and now I'm going to say save. OK. So if I look at my inventory valuation sheet here, notice that it does have my three costs on here. It still shows me my average cost. All right, and so it's still calculating average behind the scenes. So that might be a little confusing, but I just wanted to make sure that you see what happens if we do an inventory valuation or an inventory adjustment. All right, so let's go ahead and adjust our quantity or value on hand. And we're going to adjust it as of the end of the month so that it captures. If I did it as of the 10th, for example, it's only going to capture these two transactions. So I'm going to do it at the end of the month so it captures all three. OK, you choose the adjustment account, class, customer job, et cetera. I'm going to go ahead and type in here AA FIFO. It's going to ask me what my new quantity is. I'm going to say two. All right, so that is taking the quantity down. Now notice here that it does say total value of adjustment is negative $15, okay? Now you should have the save and close button on the bottom, but because we're in a screen view so that you guys have a, a better view of, a, or a, a higher class view, HD view of the screen, I'm just gonna hit enter to say save on this one. Now, if I go look at my inventory valuation detail, I can see that the change was happen that that happened there. It did adjust the average cost, okay? But if I go look at the actual inventory adjustment now, notice that it changed it to ten dollars because it's adjusting out inventory. So at that time, the oldest piece of inventory was valued at ten dollars. So it's taking that ten dollar piece of inventory out of inventory. All right. Now, if I were to do the transaction journal on this, I would see the exact same thing. The debit and the credit of $10. Okay, so that's what's supposed to happen there. Now let's change this up a little bit. Instead of adding or taking away one, we're gonna add one. So if I say add one here, notice again, it's gonna do total value of adjustment is $15, but as soon as I hit enter to save it, it's going to actually change that to 20 because it's upping it, upping it based on the latest inventory item that I received. Okay, so it's upping it by $20, which is what you would expect. The average cost again changes here, uh, but if you look at the transaction journal, it's, cre it's correctly adjusting inventory based on the latest one there. All right, so that's just showing you a little bit behind the scenes on FIFO.